Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lindquist from the Indianapolis Star. This is my colleague Amy Bartner. This is the dumbest thing you've ever seen on Facebook Live. Pink, as you see here, plays a sold out show tomorrow night, St. Patrick's Day, at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Last night they greened the canal in Indianapolis. So this morning we're going to combine the pageantry of Pink, St. Patrick's Day, and her beautiful <laughs> trauma tour with the trauma that's plagued Indianapolis all spring, potholes. We will pink a pothole. Can you feel the excitement, Amy? This is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever been a part of. Very good. But Sa yes, I'm excited. Safety first. We're not on a street in Indianapolis. We're in a back alley of South Meridian Street where all the best decisions will be made <laughs> this weekend. Except there have been cars driving yeah, by. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a pothole. It's a reasonable facsimile of all the potholes you've seen all spring. Do you, you have big St. Patrick's Day plans, Amy? Nope, I'm too old for that stuff. So this is it. All this right. The farthest south on Meridian I'll be this weekend. As Pink herself says, let's get the party started. We're going to bring in our esteemed colleague, Will Higgins, to read the proclamation. Will? Whereas RCA recording artist Pink has sold more than 40 million albums, whereas more than $14 million will be spent to address the pothole problem in Indianapolis, whereas Pink's concert Saturday at Banker's Life Fieldhouse was an instant sellout of more than 15,000 tickets, whereas the city of Indianapolis has approved precisely one claim of pothole damage to a vehicle this year for $203.83. Now, therefore, on St. Patrick's Day weekend, Indy Star pinks this pothole. Huzzah! Woo! All right, here we go. We got our pink, or we have our pothole. Oh, oh yeah. It's like ashes in the wind there. Oh, you even had a stir. <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh, no. Okay. That's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We look forward to reading your comments. Catch us anytime at indystar.com.